command authenticated. Stand by for Titan Fall. Titanfall is a multiplayer only first person shooter developed by Respawn Entertainment, a team comprised of guys who formerly worked on the Call of Duty series. And yes, it does feel very much like a COD game in a lot of ways. The UI is pretty much identical, and score notifications and in game messages pop up on the screen every time you so much as think of firing a weapon. But it does change the core gameplay where it matters most and ends up being much more enjoyable overall. So during the very brief opening sequence, we're shown that mankind has mastered space travel and has set off to explore and colonize other planets. At some point, a bunch of people form a militia and take on something called the Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation, or IMC for short, in large scale battles for control across various environments. To be honest, it's not the best looking game and it runs on what is essentially a 10 year old engine, but thankfully there's a lot of video options to tweak the game for less powerful rigs and there's usually so much crap on the screen at any one time that you won't really have time to criticize the textures or scenery anyway. In fact, if you're the type of person who stops to stare at the fucking grass in a video game, then I question what you're doing with your life. First blood. After a brief tutorial sequence which does a surprisingly good job of getting you familiar with the controls, the game drops you right into a lobby and you're good to go. Gameplay focuses primarily on shooting the living shit out of everything that isn't on your team with game modes that are essentially the same as Deathmatch and Domination. You hop into the shoes of a Titan pilot, initially choosing from a list of preset classes, using a whole heap of weapons and abilities to aid you in combat. Throughout each match you've got a timer that counts down when you make kills, which eventually allows you to spawn in any one of three Titan classes. These Titans come crashing down from high above at a point of your choosing protected in a shield that keeps them safe from damage until you hop on in, which is a clever way of making sure you don't waste your timer. There's a real contrast between controlling the pilot and the titan. The pilot is much more agile, able to sprint indefinitely, run up walls and double jump. It almost feels like the controls from much older FPS games like the Quake and Tribe series. Whilst the titan is a lot slower moving using heavy firing weapons, dash moves and a shield that can catch projectiles and launch them right back at enemies. Playing as the pilot is really where things feel derivative of the COD games, even down to the one hit melee kills. But once you hop into a Titan, it takes it to a whole new level. And this is where it comes more down to actual skill than Twitch shooting. There's a lot of depth with Titan on Titan combat and it's very rarely one on one. Aside from other Titans, you've also got to be wary of pilots on foot as every single player is equipped with an anti-Titan weapon, which can pack a real wallop destroying your suit in a matter of hits. At any time you can disembark from your Titan and move on foot, ordering it to follow behind you obediently, though more often than not you'll just be right in the cockpit. I'm not going to lie, it can be pretty damn awesome when you're in a large scale battle with three other Titans, launching homing rockets and missile barrages as you squish grunts underneath your feet. These grunts are controlled by the AI and frequently spawn into the match to give the battles a much larger sense of scale. This isn't actually as bad as it sounds because it can help with trying to unlock many of the achievements and challenges the game has on offer as is the case with almost every single multiplayer mode in recent years, practically everything you do earns you experience, which in turn helps you to level up. Completing challenges also gives you weapon attachments and bonus experience. Once you reach level five, you get the ability to create your own pilot class from scratch, choosing the weapons, ordnance packs and perks to suit your playstyle. When you reach level 10, you can create your own Titan loadout as well, which is pretty cool. The game also features something called burn cards which lets you pick from a selection of cards during matches that can add certain bonuses and boosts to weapons and other skills. Throughout the 10 or so hours I played the game, I barely scratched the surface of the multitude of things to unlock. On the downside, it seems Australians once again get the short end of the gaming stick and lag can be pretty atrocious at times. Obviously this doesn't affect everyone, but Aussie server support doesn't seem to be too crash hot at the moment. The fact that you're a quarter of a second behind someone else in a firefight can have a huge difference. Though this is supposed to be patched soon and might even be fixed by the time I'm writing this review. My only other issue with this game is the price. I mean, I just don't know if it's fair to charge full price for a game that is multiplayer only, especially considering the fact that most of the content is still unreleased. I mean, look at any other multiplayer only games like Counter-Strike for instance, which will set you back something like 15 bucks or even something like Team Fortress 2 that is entirely free to play 
and it makes Titanfall seem a little bit exorbitant. It's also a whopping 50 gigabytes in hard drive space, which shouldn't be that much of an issue for most people, but is something to consider if you're gonna download the game. But this is EA we're talking about here. Call of Duty with mechs is probably the best way to describe Titanfall at the end of the day, but I hardly see how this could be taken as a bad thing. Mechs are probably quite high on most gamers' wet dream list, and is one of the few things that hasn't been ruined by overuse. I'm one of the most jaded motherfuckers you're ever likely to meet, and I had an absolute blast with this game, even if I did have connection issues up the wazoo. So if you are going to spend the foreseeable future playing this game and have no problem with forking out money every few months for the latest DLC, then Titanfall is pretty much a must-buy. And if nothing more, at least the shooting genre is finally trying something new. Yes. Core reactor overload. 